Welcome to Alton Park for round two of the Bennett's Bridge Superbike Championship and after qualifying here this afternoon, it's another front row start for championship leader Ryan Vickers and OMG Gorilla Yamaha Racing. Ryan, coming into this weekend, you've been building, we've had the test as well. Talk us through it because the conditions this afternoon have been far different to what we've experienced so far this week. Yeah, no, it's, um, it's been a really good test and um, also starts to the race weekend. You know, we've been strong, we've been fast and um, felt, good, felt good in all conditions, really. The test was a little bit warmer and then we had a cold conditions yesterday and I think everybody felt like they were going a little bit quicker and there was a lot of people that went into the 33s, so the conditions obviously helped with that. Um, and then today it's gone really hot again. Obviously, we didn't start until late today, so it really gives a chance for the temperature of the track to get up and I think it was way above 30 then, so... Yeah, it's completely different to the track temperature that was around 20 on the on the testing days. But um, we're feeling great. The bike was still still really good then. We've still got we've got quite a lot to work on. Um, so to actually do my fastest ever time around Alton and fastest time on the Yam on conditions that where the bike did change quite a bit, um, I'm really happy. So yeah, it's good to be on the front row. We didn't need to do anything more. I see my lap time and I was like, I, I'm not even bothered about what my pit board says when I come around the next lap. Like. I'm happy, that's a good time, and that'll do me for, for the race. So that was it, and um, yeah, really happy that it was good enough to be on the front row. Thank you, Ryan. Cheers. And the first row, front row start of the season for the Hager PBM Ducati team. Glenn, Glenn, in qualifying, it's been a good week for you. You've been building up. You were fastest throughout the test bar one session. Talk us through it this afternoon, because obviously we had the red flag, which stopped and started the session. Did that play into people's hands a little bit, did you think? Uh, no, on, honestly not. Like I think uh, some people, uh, I think Kyle used a new tyre after the warm-up. Uh, fair play, a clever decision. But I only had done turn one of my first lap and was on the green and blew it. So I hadn't wasted any rubber whatsoever. Um, so no, I think he it's a very deservedly pull. Um, you know, lap being said, my own lap uh, to be second. The uh, position is good. Uh, the lap time was good considering it wasn't the, the best lap in the world. Obviously, it was a, a good lap. Um, Probably one mistake I feel I made, and the other perhaps the bike didn't do quite what I what I expected it to do and ran a little bit wide. But front row, um, we've been really strong. Uh, like I, I think we've done 34-0 and lap 17 on a tire or something. So stuff like that pleases me. It's got a little bit cloudy out there, which said uh, the Ducati likes cooler track conditions. So to be honest, I was a bit concerned with track conditions. Uh, been so hot because we know the Yamahas have a lot of grip and they can probably afford for the track to lose a little bit of grip whereas we uh, we're quite on the limit of edge grip and uh, normally so yeah front row um, once again hats off to Ryan and hats off to Kyle uh, for his lap because uh, he's just told me he found eight tenths so he's in there he's absolutely peaking went eight tenths quicker than yesterday I think he's won the lottery so uh, hopefully I can beat him in the race and take the, the wee smile off his face he's a good lad <laughs> thank you Glenn thank you cheers and taking the Omelagato pole position for race one here at Autumn Park for OMG Gorilla Yamaha Racing. It's Kyle Ride. Kyle, that was an incredible lap that you pulled out the bag straight away. And you've been building momentum during the test, but talk us through the lap and how you pulled it off. Yeah, um, to be honest, I got a really good track position. Um, I normally like to do things on my own, but um, so I thought I was falling over then. Uh, but yeah, got a good track position. I think um, I timed it really well with Josh using a tyre in um, F sorry, Q1, and he wanted to get out the front like he normally does and, and do a lap, and I think there was a little gaggle of us behind him using him as a toe, and I was right at the back of it and got a great target, and, uh, yeah, I just tried to... Uh, I spent all... Oh, well, we had 20, 24 hours, haven't we, since we last went out, so I spent a lot of time on the laptop working out where to go faster and looking at Ryan's data as well because he's been a, a bit quicker than me in a few sectors, and, yeah, I said, if I piece it all together, I reckon I can do a 33.5, and I beat it by attempt, so I must have done a good job. And you found so much time between yesterday and today. Where did you find where did you find that? And I know you said you've shared data, etc. Was there a particular section of the track, or was that just with confidence? Do you think? Um, yesterday we had a small problem in FP1, which put us on the back foot and ruined our plans tyre-wise. Because obviously with the new rules, we've got less stickers. Um, so yeah, FP2 was all about doing a bit of a race run, um, but hopefully doing a lap time good enough to get me through. So yeah, we didn't really do a full time attack. That's probably why I was down in temp. So I wasn't sandbagging. I was just, I was just um, saving it for today. But uh, yeah, I'm I'm very surprised. I did a 33.4. I thought I could do maybe a 33.7, 33.8. But yeah, everything everything came together. Uh, the lap was pretty good. I only made one mistake, but everything still worked. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm on pole position. So uh, no grumbling. Thank you, Kyle. Thanks, Laura.